Hey everybody, welcome back to Dr. Robert TV. I'm here with Megan Barton Hansen. Hi. Who is actually finally admitting that I do her face. Wow. He does. Finally. He's responsible <laughs> for all this. <laughs> um, we're not going to do her whole face for you guys today because I would need a little lie down after that. <laughs> but we are just going to do this little bit here called a pregial sulcus. I'll explain what that is. It's something that I've been sorting out for Megan periodically for quite a few years, but it's just where it looks a little heavy here, and then the chin is okay here, and it gets a little skinny in between. So she kind of feels like these bits in between are a little too thin. What it does, if we have a look from around here, is it stops the jawline from looking as sharp as it could because it's got the dip halfway through it, okay? So the idea behind that is I'm going to use some fillers just to straighten the jaw area out uh, and I'm going to do that shortly. So let's just get that clean. I'm just going to show you guys how we can inject it to straighten it out. You've got the option of using a cannula or a needle. Megan's asked me to use a needle because she personally prefers it, but both are good techniques. I'm going to do that now. Okay, this is a little technique called aspiration, just pulling back on the syringe and it makes sure that we can improve the safety of the procedure. So, now I'm just going to place a little droplet. And so by injecting in a series across here, it's straightened this out. You can probably see that razor sharp now and it eliminates the little bit that dips in between the chin and the jaw here. It's called a pregial sulcus, but it doesn't matter. Now I'm just going to do a little droplet at the back here to give a little bit more definition here as well. Not too much because we don't want to give it a really wide and masculine look and we were talking about that off camera earlier so I'm going to do a quick drop there. So just going to make a little sharper this angle here. It's called the angle of the mandible um, and I'm just going to inject directly onto it to give it a little definition. Okay, guys, we're just going to sign off here. So just to show you, straightening it out here and then a little bit of some square angular improvement at the back and it just makes for an improved lower face. Megan, the worst thing was when you were in that show and everyone was asking about, no, people were writing in columns like, what has she had? We think she's had this. And, and I was thinking, I, I was thinking like, I've got a file on her. No <laughs> one asking me though, were they? Um, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, thank you very much for watching Dr. Robert TV. We will catch up with you next time. Thank me later from me and bye-bye from Megan Barton Hansen. Bye. <laughs>